Hello and welcome to this training segment. I'm Jeremy Cooper, Senior Network Systems Engineer with Sabre Consulting. Today we're going to do a practical demonstration on a few things you can do to secure your routing protocols. I'm going to jump into GNS3. Take a moment to make a mental note of this topology. It's very basic. What we're going to look at is how we can use an MD5 hash to authenticate routing peers. On the left we have a Juniper router and on the right we have a Cisco router. We're also going to talk about how configuring uh, certain interfaces to be passive can be very beneficial. We're going to look at how if someone were to put an unauthorized router or even perhaps a Linux virtual machine uh, that can run OSPF into your net into your switch network they could form an unauthorized routing protocol adjacency and gain a great deal of uh, information about your network topology. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our network here and forgot to reset my terminals just to make things pretty. All right, so so let's look again. So router one has interface EM30 pointing downstream to a PC, and I've verified we have IP reachability. And then router one on EM00 is IP address 10.0.0.1. Router two, fast ethernet 00, is 10.0.0.2. And downstream on FA01 is to this network segment right here. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our routing protocol using MD5 hashing. All right. So uh, the green router is Juniper. The Cyan router is Cisco. So we'll start off with Juniper. You first go into edit and then edit protocols OSPF area zero, set interface EM zero, we'll do 3.0, and then we'll set interface EM 0.0. .0. Now we're going to do up arrow authentication MD5. Key ID is one and the key will make it saber. And whoop, commit and quit. So we've saved our configuration for OSPF on Juniper. Now we'll go to Cisco, configure terminal router OSPF 10, network 10.0.0.2, there is zero. Right. Now we go directly, in. well, I guess you could do it two ways. We'll go ahead and set area zero authentication message digest here so that if we were to put other interfaces into area zero, we automatically are anticipating uh, authentication. So now into interface FA zero, we will do our command IP OSPF message Digest key, key one, MD5, saber. And in just a moment here, okay, we have an adjacency. But we did forget to do one thing. We need to go back into router OSPF and we need to issue a network uh, 172.17.0.1. And we'll put it in area one. And let's do a show I can't break to make sure I issued. Yep, I did get the correct command. So show IP route from Cisco. All right, we have learned a network via OSPF. So let's see if we can ping that downstream host, 172.16.0.50. Yep, and there we go. So we should have full adjacency. And this is our, this is our simulated PC in GNS3. And there we go. So let's look at our topology one more time. So now we are gonna plug in our nasty little router here that is, again, it could be a router, it could be a Linux virtual machine running OSPF. And let's demonstrate what we could do here. Let's reset that terminal. Show IP in brief. All right, so we have we have obtained an IP address on the LAN segment. Let's verify we can ping 16.0.1. Yep, 
There we go. So unless we secure that VLAN on the Juniper switch or that simulated VLAN on the Juniper router, I should say, we can go in to the Cisco switch and we can do network 172.16.0.200 area zero. There we go. And so now we have formed an adjacency, which means we can do a show IP route. And we have learned both an inter area route as well as an inter area route, intra area route. And so this guy theoretically has your entire route table. Now, protecting against this form of attack is actually pretty straightforward. We just go back into our Juniper router and to edit and to edit uh, protocols OS PF area zero set interface EM 3.0 question mark. We are looking for passive commit and quit. And let's go up here and let's do that show IP OS PF neighbor command. So watch our dead timer. Okay, we just missed a hello. So in 25 seconds, this router is going to lose its adjacency and would not be able to recreate it. So while we wait for this dead timer to finish up, we looked over two things today. We looked over how to do some very basic authentication using message digest between OSPF peers. I demonstrated the syntax in both Cisco as well as Juniper. And we looked at configuring interfaces to be passive in Juniper. And it is, and the syntax is almost identical in Cisco. Let's in fact look at that real quick. Gotta slow down. Um, let's see, uh, blah, 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 blah. what is it? Well, you could do it a couple ways. One, you could do passive interface um, you could do passive interface FA0 slash 1, or what you could do is passive interface default, and then interface, hmm, interface what? Oh, oh, it's a no passive interface FA0 slash 0. That'll do the job. And there it goes, received its hello. All right, that is, that is the end of this training segment. Thank you so much for viewing and check our YouTube channel periodically for additional videos. Bye for now.